Their secret recipe has helped raise more than $1,500. Even the local bus driver is on board. But things took an unfortunate and unexpected turn on Saturday. To have such a beautiful story turn into such a nightmare disaster like it did yesterday, I was shaking. The mother says the boys were periodically using a megaphone to attract customers and one angry man. He said, you little mother effers, I'm going to shut you down. So I told him to get the hell off my property. And he said, I'm calling the police. Minutes later, she says police arrived and told her the stand must be shut down. I tell him, look, officer, give me a fine. I'll pay the fine. He said, oh, I'm not giving you a fine. You think that because you're in a wheelchair, you're above the law? She says the officer threatened to arrest her, so she started recording. Honest to God, like, is this normal? The guy had his hand on his holster, telling me that I'm aggressive. And I told him to get off my property. He refused. Three hours later, she says police left. Well, it ended with this sergeant telling me my kids are not allowed to have their megaphone and that they don't want to have to come back here and arrest me. Montreal police told Global News they would not be in a position to comment on the case on Sunday, explaining more analysis is needed before they issue any kind of statement. Always remain calm. This ex-police officer wonders if the mother escalated the situation. He says police will rarely put an end to lemonade sales without a permit. And in that case, it's not necessarily the action on your property, but the uh, distraction or the problem it causes. The mother is demanding an apology from Montreal police. Neighbors dropped by to show the boys support on Sunday as they sold lemonade without their megaphone. Dan Spector, Global News, Montreal.